Okay, we are recording. Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? It is the godfather of VR, the ageless wonder, the man, Lincoln Clay, coming back at you with a little bit of, um, I did one of these videos before, but I think it's about that time again, you know, because I'm feeling some type of weight right now, but, you know, next month, uh, I think it's December 17th to be exact. <laughs> Um, the reason why I just laughed at that is uh, December 17th, I will have been on YouTube uh, two years, right? Two years. And it's been a wonderful journey. You know, and what's funny about that is um, when my two-year anniversary on YouTube comes up, I will have been out of YouTube jail three days. I think uh, December 14th is when I get out of YouTube jail. So... So a little over a month, and um, and I promise when I get out of YouTube jail, I'll be a little more conscious of uh, what kind of stuff I'm, uh, uh, you know, putting on these videos in terms of uh, uh, in terms of what videos I use for uh, loops. But um, so yeah, it'll be we're coming up on two years that I've been on YouTube, and again, it is it's been a wonderful ride, and I've met a lot of people over the years. A, a lot of good friends and I wanted to take a moment to shout those friends out um, you know and I and I'll be going down a list of uh, YouTube friends that I think um, definitely keep the uh, gaming community entertained and informed and uh, most of these youtubers that I'll mention um, I was already watching their content be before I became friends with them. So I was already an admirer of their, of their content before I became friends with them. And so I, you know, to watch their content and then become friends with them, I felt was an honor. So, <clears throat> so uh, the, the, there's so many friends to name. I, there's no way I can get everybody on this list. So if I've, didn't mention you and your name get left out you know please forgive me uh believe me you're just as much of an impact as those this list in this video it's just um i think i can only list so many people and i don't want to you know keep people here for two hours or longer you know uh pointing out these youtubers but um but i did make a quick list and as i name off these youtubers it's not in any particular order but as I name off these YouTubers, I will say what drew me to these YouTubers. Oh, give me a second here. So, uh, <clears throat> so you know uh, what? I will, with getting started, I want to start off with um with gamer tag VR and sick humor, and I start off with them because these two men are both married and they both have families, uh, but yet they still find time to uh, balance gaming and YouTube with their everyday lives, and they and uh, between these two. Um, I see comment almost. I see content almost every day. Uh, in the case of sick humor, on any you know on any given day, you can get a podcast out of him that will run two to five, six, seven hours, and then he'll easily turn around and stream a game for four or five hours. So. Gaming is definitely a passion with him, as with everybody that I name off. You know, they're pretty much passionate about gaming, but um, Sick Humor, he's definitely one that stands out as far as his uh, passion towards gaming. What he would like to see happen with the industry, things that he thinks could make the industry better. And uh, with uh, Gamertag VR, he has an equal passion uh, for VR. And... Um, and that's what drew me to him. Is um, I definitely think Gamertag VR is a is a people person. And how I ended up meeting him, uh, he was playing um, Firewall Zero Hour, 
and he said any viewers who wants to play with me just send me a friend request on on playstation i'll accept it and i'll bring you into the room if there's you know we have spaces available so i was instantly drawn to that because i was like you know here's a guy that's for the people and um he, he interacts and plays games uh with people and when i saw that that was something that i could not have done because i think the first year that i was on youtube when i was kind of caught up in the council war and you know going at microsoft's throat it brought about a few trolls and um and i knew i was going to deal with that kind of stuff and that was why i was reluctant to um, show who I was and, and reveal some information about me um, because I didn't want to have to deal with um, trolls or possibly getting doxxed or that kind of thing. So um, so me inviting gamers to, you know, just giving them an open invitation to come play games with me was definitely um, not on my radar. But here you have a guy like Gamertag that said, you know, here, come on in, send me a friend request. And um, so I sent him a friend request. He instantly accepted, and I jumped in and played a, a firewall with him. And um, later I revealed that I was a YouTuber myself. And um, he saw my content, you know, um, followed me. I followed him. He came on the Lincoln Show a couple of times. And uh, we've been very good friends ever since. And, um, you know, and I'm definitely grateful to him for... Uh, offering me a spot on the VR link, which we do every Sunday, which I think is a, a great show. Um, so those two men, Sick Humor and, and Gamertag VR, I definitely had to mention them first because again, these two are married. They, they balance life and gaming. And, um, and I'm single. And, and it's hard for me to find time to game because of how much I sleep, I work, um, I'm still, because of my battle with diabetes and the diet that I have to go through, it's like life is a second job, having to cook every single night. You know, you don't know how bad there's been some nights where I'm tired and I'm like, I don't feel like cooking. I'd just rather go get some McDonald's, but I can't, you know, so, um, you know, my job is physical. I move around, I lift things, I build things and, um, and it leaves me quite tired. So. Uh, for these men to have jobs and still find time to game and still find time to have podcasts is um, is admirable. You know, I have a lot of admiration and respect for those two gentlemen. So, uh, shout out to Gamertag VR and uh, Sick Humor. And I appreciate what you guys do for the gaming community. And um, I, I definitely appreciate uh, your content. Uh, next, uh, next person that I, I want to acknowledge is uh, BitCloud Gaming, formerly uh, Ryan the Professional, formerly Ryan55598, you know, however number, however many numbers that he had. He, he's another good friend of mine, another um, person that I'm honored to be friends with. Um, I discovered him, you know, um, a couple of years ago because I was watching, I was probably watching some of these YouTubers four or five months uh, before I decided, decided to uh, become a content creator myself. And uh, Big Cloud was one of the people that I was watching. And I'm seeing how he puts in that hard work uh, to build his brand. I see how his channel is growing more and more and more. And um, and he, he has definitely been a big help in the growth of my channel. Uh, he's plugged me in to some uh, bigger YouTubers that they were so gracious gracious to come on to the Lincoln show. Uh people like Foxy Games UK, um Porter Rock, uh J Wags. Um these are people that if uh BitCloud had not plugged me into those guys, um I wouldn't have been able to get them onto the Lincoln show and and I probably don't know if I would have been had the privilege of being friends with these people. So a uh, big shout out to Big Cloud Gaming. You know, his uh, his brand is continuing to grow. I see the work that he puts in. Uh, keep up the good work, Big Cloud. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, um, he, even though I don't type in a lot of comments, 
uh, believe me when I tell you, I'm still watching your comments. I'm still watching the Real Gamer uh, podcast, the Real Gamer Talk uh, podcast, whether I catch it live or whether I catch it on tape delay. So uh, keep up the good work, Big Cloud, you know, and uh, keep growing. Let's see here. Uh, next up, another friend that I'd like to acknowledge is Craig Harris, the Messiah. Um, Craig, um, I think Craig, he, he strikes me as, uh, as even kill. He, uh, I feel like he genuinely wants to deliver information and, um, I think he's, he's realistic with his views, um, As far as, uh, yeah, yeah, he's realistic with his views. Uh, I'm trying to put that without getting too much into detail from the standpoint of that he's realistic from the same standpoint of who he believes is uh, which which um, platform has better, uh, better games and which one is lacking and that kind of stuff. We don't need to go into that. Um, but I definitely enjoy his content too. Not to mention that every time he goes live, I'm like, okay, did, do you do you got some juicy news, some juicy insider news for us? So uh, I'm always keeping an eye on that too, because I love hearing that stuff too. And um, Craig is a good friend, you know. Um, we are uh, we all keep in contact, you know, in our private groups on Twitter. Uh, so, and he just recently uh, celebrated hitting the 1,000 mark on his subs. Um, so congratulations to that, even though I know it happened a few months ago, Craig. Uh, but uh, you're another YouTuber um, that I have a uh, high respect and admiration for. You know, same thing, Craig, you know, keep up the good work. And I'm always watching your content. Uh, a lot of times, you know, when you go live in the morning, I'm at work, which is actually a good thing because it is content that helps me get through my day. Um, Unfortunately, I can't comment as much as I would like to because I am at work. So, you know, uh, so whenever I can, if I'm on break or something like that, I'll just send a quick text, you know, a quick Mass Effect text, which is a little inside joke between us, just to let them know that I'm there, that I'm watching, that I'm supporting. So, uh, Craig, you know, keep up the great work, man. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your work and, um, and appreciate you helping me get through my day. So next up, next friend I want to acknowledge is uh, Foxy Games UK. Now, um, I don't talk to Foxy that much. Um, I think one of the reasons uh, I don't talk to him that much, I think it's, you know, because of the time difference. But um, what drew me to Foxy was his delivery. Uh, this man is so professional with his delivery that he could be an anchor on the UK version of World News Tonight. The man sounds so professional. He sounds like an uh, like a professional um, news anchor. Now, granted, when he's in a live podcast, he can be a little more unfiltered, but uh, he definitely sounds professional with his delivery. And uh, excuse me. And I think uh, he, by far, as uh, uh, far as uh, guests that I've had on the Lincoln Show. He had the most subscribers out of all the people that I had on the Lincoln Show. I think at the time that he was a guest on the Lincoln Show, he had about 17,000 subscribers, and his content and his channel has definitely grown immensely since then. And, um, you know, I, I consider him a good friend, and um, same deal with him. I'm always watching his content as well, you know, so uh, keep up the good work, Foxy. You know, it's an honor being your friend, and, um, you know, and uh, keep growing, my friend. Uh, who do we got next? Uh, did I so because I had to make a list because there, there was no way I was going to be able to remember all these people. Uh, next up is uh, Porter Rock, the man that I have deemed the king of common sense. I I don't think I've seen a YouTuber like him where trolls will try to come in and damage control the situation. Or try to reverse a situation 
to fit their narrative. And Porter Rock can throw some simple logic or some simple math at these people and then make them see how stupid that they sound, you know, trying to um, make a point. And because of that, I labeled him the king of common sense. And um, he was a, um, I think Porter Rock was my first big test for the Lincoln show because um, I think, um, I think Porter Rock was one of the first big YouTubers that I had on the show that like had like 3,000 or more subscribers. And, um, and I was actually pretty nervous doing the Lincoln show with him because I was like, you know, am I going to sound professional? Am I going to trip over my tongue? Am I going to sound stupid? Am I going to ask dumb questions? So while I was interviewing him, I also felt like I was auditioning. Um, and that was a, that was a big moment for me, you know, and, um, my other YouTube friends that was watching the Lincoln show that seen how the Lincoln show was starting to grow. Um, they definitely tuned in to when Porter Rock was on the show because uh, they they liked the way I did the Lincoln show and they wanted to you know see the Lincoln show with a, a legitimate YouTuber on there. So and you know since then I've uh, remained good friends with Porter Rock. You know we did a few streams of uh, MLB the Show, which I, I hope we'll be doing that again uh, next summer. You know when the new MLB the Show comes out. And uh, he recently got a, a VR headset. So, um, you know, hopefully if he ever uh, gets around to games like Firewall or something like that, hopefully we'll get together and uh, we can play that, you know, and stream it together. But uh, he's definitely a good friend and, um, and I'm honored to be his friend. And uh, his content is, uh, is definitely entertaining and informative. So uh, I, appreciate, uh, I appreciate being his friend. And um, right now he's over in Germany. You know, uh, because uh, his job is the military. Uh, while he while he is living in Germany, working, he also looks like he's over there enjoying life. So, you know, so big shout out to Porter Rock. You know, keep enjoying life, keep putting out that good content. I definitely appreciate it. You know, and I look uh, look forward to the next time we hook up and play some MLB the Show or something. So. Next up, another good friend that I consider a, a good friend is um, Fatal Mephesto. Now, when I discovered Fatal Mephesto, he wasn't putting out any content. But he was a regular on Sick Humor's podcast. And Fatal Mephesto coming on to Sick Humor's podcast is what inspired me to do the Lincoln Show. Because I thought that... Um, Sick Humor and Fatal Festo had unbeatable chemistry. And Fatal, Fatal made me laugh with some of his, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Some of his metaphors, some of his colorful metaphors, uh, some of the very uh, amusing names that he's given corporations um, over the years. And I think he's, a, he's another realist when he comes to, he's not delusional. Um, when he comes, when it comes to the state of gaming, and um, he's uh, uh, he's cut from a different cloth when it comes to the kind of games that he likes. He likes the kind of games that other people might find weird, um, but he has his own type of games that he likes, and that's what makes him unique. And um, he's definitely entertaining. Uh, he's his podcast that he does. Uh, I definitely uh, watch those. Um, you know, I, same thing. I might not always be able to watch him live, but he's another one that goes on. His podcast happens while I'm at work, so a lot of times I can't comment on him, but I still do listen. So uh, keep up the good work, Fatal. You know, uh, so I, it's an honor to be your friend. So another uh, another friend. Uh, which I think is a special friendship is Titan Titan for a princess. Um, she was a guest on the Lincoln Show. Um, now I, I I reached out to Titanfall because the first time 
I had any kind of contact with her uh, was she was a guest on the round table. Because Thrash had already known her for a while and had been friends with her. And she came on to the Lincoln Show. And um, after she was a guest on the Lincoln Show, I went to her channel, uh, checked out some of her content, some of her podcasts. And I reached out to her and asked her to be a guest on the Lincoln Show. And um, not only did she come on the Lincoln Show and uh, gave a, a, a great interview, she also encouraged uh, some of her subscribers to subscribe to my channel. And because of that, she got me the most subscribers in one night. Um, I can't remember what the count was. Um, but I know that like every time I did the Lincoln show, I would go check my sub count and see how many new subs I would get. And she got me the most subs in one night. So without question, um, I think she probably had the biggest impact as far as a uh, guest who's been on the Lincoln show. And she's been supportive of me. Uh, from day one, she still remain, remains a great friend. Uh, we we talk, you know, we do talk occasionally, uh, whether it's on PSN or through Twitter um, or texting. You know, she's uh, definitely a good friend, and uh, she's definitely passionate about gaming. I've never seen a woman in my life that's so passionate about gaming as, as Titanfall. Um, she is not one of these uh, fake gamers on Twitch. Uh, that's trying to, you know, get money, you know, from um, exposing body parts. Uh, she is a true gamer. Uh, she truly loves gaming. She she loves fighting games about as much as I love VR, if not more. And uh, speaking of VR, uh, she is definitely wanting to uh, get into VR. And I told her I would help her um, as soon as the opportunity presents itself. You know, the, the fact of the matter is that um, the two things that, that I got staring me in the face right now is a car payment and uh, credit card payments. If, if I didn't have those staring in my face, I would have already sent her a VR headset uh, by now. So uh, I'm looking around, I'm, you know, checking eBay, looking for sales, anything. And, um, and as soon as the opportunity presents itself, I'm going to help her out to uh, get a VR headset because I definitely want her to experience uh, VR because uh, it'll, it'll be a whole new world, you know, and, um, and I'm looking forward to her getting on board and joining the uh, VR community. So, uh, big shout out to you, Titanfall. Let me see. Um, the next um, person that I'm good friends with, this is a friendship that if I would have listened to to the opinions of him the perceptions of him then I would have fell into that trap and I'm speaking to JTEC TV you know when I first heard about JTEC people were calling him the crap gamer of PlayStation and but I had to use logical thinking and was like, I know what Crap Gamer was like. You know, he talked big about Xbox, um, even though, in my opinion, he didn't have the substance to back up the stuff that he was saying. So, uh, you know, so at that point, I had deemed, you know, Crap Gamer the, the national inquirer of, of YouTube, of gaming. And they were comparing JTEC to Crap Gamer, you know, on the PlayStation side. So, um, so I checked out a couple of his videos, and he spoke truth. I mean, he he's passionate about PlayStation, and I think there's a difference between being passionate about something and being a clickbaiter. And um, I don't think JTEC is a clickbaiter. I think he is extremely passionate about the PlayStation brand. And um, how I first came into contact with him 
was again he was a uh, he was a guest on the on the round table and shortly after he came on the round table uh he got in touch with big money and said can you have some of the round table you know come on to my podcast and be a guest so uh big money said hey you know uh j tech wants some people to come uh, join his podcast so i said okay you know i was uh i was honored you know to jump on there because i had seen his playstation legion podcast a few times leading up to that so so i came on there and then um from there, it was uh, every week, you know, he invited me to come on the podcast to the point where I felt like a permanent member of the podcast. I would still be on there to this day. I would still be on the Play Le PlayStation Legion podcast to this day if I had not taken a position with the VR link, you know. Um, I enjoy VR so much, you know, that it superseded, you know, um, my love for the PlayStation brand. You know, I love the PlayStation brand, but I love VR even more. In, in fact, um, you know, I, I've really got some thoughts here, you know, because uh, JTEC is going to, he's planning on getting a uh, VR headset this uh, this holiday. You know, he seen the uh, holiday Black Friday bundle and uh, he's planning on jumping on it. And, um, and I think he won't be disappointed. And um, I think when I get out of YouTube jail, Hopefully he'll have his VR headset by then, and I definitely want to ask him to come on as a guest and talk to me about his experience with you know with PlayStation VR. How does he like it? Does he think um, Sony can be successful moving forward? That kind of stuff. Uh, so, and um, we keep in touch regularly throughout the week, mostly through Twitter. Uh, he, he tags me on whenever he sees something that's VR related. He'll tag me in it. Um, when I see something that I think is funny, I'll, I'll tag him or send it to him directly. So, um, you know, so uh, uh, definitely JTEC is definitely a good friend. I would consider my friendship with JTEC on the level of the kind of friendship that I have with Sick Humor and King Thrash. Uh, so... You know, I still go back and I'll watch his uh, PlayStation Legion podcast on replay because, unfortunately, it happens at the same time that we do the PlayStation, the, the VR link. So I have to catch his podcast on a replay. And, um, you know, it's it's tough, but I did let him know that if we, if we should have a situation where we get done with the VR link early and the um, PlayStation Legion is still going on, I'll jump in there whenever I can. And whenever I do come back in there, they welcome me with open arms. His uh, his viewers uh, welcome me with open arms. And so uh, it's definitely, you know, an honor to be on the PlayStation Legion podcast whenever I can, you know, and, uh, and I consider him a good uh, friend. And I think, um, you know, as far as far um, as far as people that I'm affiliated with, you know, you could make a case that JTEC is the face of PlayStation because... I think um, as far as uh, YouTubers that I'm friends with, nobody uh, nobody pushes the brand harder than him. So, you know, again, it's an honor to be friends with JTech, you know, and, um, you know, and I look forward to you getting that headset, uh, JTech, and seeing what you think. So uh, next up, uh, another friend that, you know, I don't have a lot of contact with him. But uh, I do get in his comment section and uh, let him know that I'm there, that I'm supporting him, and that is Jez. Um, I think the first time I met him, I think uh, he was in a podcast uh, with me in, with uh, with in one of Sick Humor's podcasts, and the I, I had to mention Jez because this guy should have way more subscribers than he has. His channel is growing, and I think if he continues to work, do the work that he's doing. His channel is going to grow because he's definitely a realist. Um, I like how he puts some of those Benny Hill clips into his uh, podcast, and it's uh, definitely entertaining. And um, and I'm, again, he's another one that I'm always watching his content, and, um, and I'm watching his channel grow whenever he does a podcast. I do check to see how many people viewed it. How many um, 
how many subscribers that he's gained, you know, since the previous podcast, those kind of things. And yeah, his channel's growing, but I think he should have way more subs than what he has. Um, because he definitely has a uh, great content. So, uh, you know, and he still, he still pops in on Sick Humor's podcast. Uh, so definitely check him out. Um, he, he has great content. His uh, podcast is called What Grinds My Gears. So definitely check him out. Uh, now, the next person that I meant that I want to mention, uh, this is um, an honorable mention. And this is Jemiah Dixon because um, he doesn't really he doesn't really put out his own content like that. Uh, but he's a regular on Sick Humor's podcast. He's PC centric, and so it's always interesting to get his take on things from a PC perspective. You know, and he definitely has uh, interesting insight, and um, he's uh, he's definitely knowledgeable with PCs, and um, and he's another one that uh, I keep in regular contact with, whether we do it through uh, the the PlayStation Plus podcast group, the private group that we're in on Twitter. Um, I think him and Sick has, uh, I think they have great chemistry. So Sick will be in a podcast, and his podcast will have gone on for about an hour. And then, you know, Jemiah will jump in, and he'll stay there for about an hour or even until the podcast ends. And uh, when he jumps in there, it definitely adds uh, some uh, some flavor to the podcast. So, you know, so an honorable mention for him. Um, I had him on the Lincoln Show as a guest before. And he's uh, he's a person that I said I, I felt like he should be putting out more of his own content because he has his his views are interesting enough that I think um, that I think if he was to put out his own content um, that it would garner some views. So you know I hope he still keeps that in mind. But you know I think he seems to be fine with coming on with a guest. You know even if he comes on as a guest, he's still entertaining to watch. So you know another good friend who's entertaining. You know, Jemiah Dixon, so shout out to you. And uh, lastly, last, but definitely not least, uh, the man who still to this day is my favorite YouTuber, and that would be King Thrash. Um, this man, by his own admission... Uh, has a vocabulary that is hood as fuck but the man is extremely intelligent and he definitely has some interesting theories and um, and I have to tell you that I think the first time I saw one of Thrash's videos um, when I first clicked on the video I don't remember which video it was and I was like my first thing was like, who is this ghetto motherfucker? And then like five minutes into the video, you know, after he opens up with his joke, you know, do what you do. And then he started getting into the meats and potatoes of his video. I was like, man, this dude got some interesting, um, he's got some interesting theories. And then um, I think the next video I saw solidified it. I was like, this dude, this dude is on it. This dude is smart. Um, this dude is definitely a gamer. I was, you know, I'm thinking to myself, nobody could have the intelligence he has and have that kind of insight if you're not a true gamer. And so that solidified it. And I subscribed to him, you know, and he's, uh, always been my favorite YouTuber since I started watching content creators. He's, uh, been my favorite YouTuber and he's still my favorite YouTuber to this day. Um, now, I, I do have to mention this because to me, this was the, the golden days of YouTube. Um, I discovered BitCloud about a week after I discovered King Thrash. And then when I found out, you know, after watching their videos and finding out, that they were friends and they were doing podcasts together and I would listen to these podcasts and then, you know, listen to their own separate videos. I was like, these dudes are the one, two punch of YouTube. Um, 
you know, a couple of years ago, um, I would get up and go to work in the morning and I get that notification. Oh shit, Thrash put out a video. Let me hurry and watch this. And then, you know, later on that day, it's like, oh shit, Ryan put out, put out a video. Let me hurry up and watch this. They were the one, two punch. They were the knockout blow of YouTube as far as I'm concerned. Both of their content, them coming together on the podcast and their own separate in their own separate content made them the one two punch of YouTube. They were the knockout blow. And those to me um, were the golden days of YouTube. I know that they uh do their own thing now and I still enjoy both of their content. They both still put out good content. But that was definitely for me the golden days of YouTube. Uh two great friends um that was definitely the knockout blow. Um, they're still great YouTubers and they're still both um, putting out great content. Uh, so each of these YouTubers that I mentioned today uh, were YouTubers that I was following their content before I became friends with them. And I think it was their great content that made me reach out to them to want to be friends because I felt like all these people were genuine in the content they put out, they were putting this content out for their love of gaming and not for clickbaits, not for clout chasing, not for, you know, not for money, but for the genuine love of gaming. And um, all of these YouTubers have made this a wonderful ride for me. And, and they continue to do so. They continue to keep me entertained. And they put out enough content, all of them as a whole, that makes my day go by, go by a lot faster at work. And so for that, I appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, and I know everyone that I've mentioned at one point or another, I was on a podcast with them, and it was an honor. Whether I was in a podcast with you or whether you were a guest on a Lincoln show was definitely an honor. I definitely... Uh, appreciate it um, so to all of you my YouTube friends continue to keep doing what you're doing and um, bringing us the flavor that made you who you are and um, and I continue to support you support you all and watch your content so with that being said uh, I think I'm gonna get ready to boogie on out of here but I think before um, before I end this video, I do want to say that I think I've got maybe three or four videos planned for the day. Um, I think after this one, I think um, I might do a live from Wakanda, but you know it's going to be live from Wakanda on tape delay and uh, talk about the week there was in VR and gaming. And then uh, what else have I do I want to do? Um, I think I made the decision to go ahead and pick up the game Pistol Whip on the Oculus format. I wanted to get it on Steam because I know at some point sooner or later somebody's going to come out with a mod that's going to allow you to uh, use custom tracks in the game. But the reason why I decided to go ahead and go with the Oculus version of this game is because it is cross by with the Quest. So if I buy it on the Rift, I'll get it free on the Quest or vice versa. So that's definitely a game that I want to take on the go with me. So I'm going to buy it on the Rift. Um, also with uh, Pistol Whip, I love the trailer for this game. You know, you got a dude that looks like he's been injured, you know, wearing a, a suit, you know, black, you know, uh, black sport coat, black shirt, black tie, black slacks. Um, and then when you see the gameplay, and it's it's a mixed reality video where he's actually inside the um, game, and <clears throat> um, it looked like you know something right out of John Wick. So what's been really cool about that is uh, Mike of Virtual Reality Oasis. I think he was the first one to do it when he got hold of the um, uh, the Pistol Whip game. He he did a um, mixed reality video. And he wore a suit. And then I think the next person to do it was uh, Paradise Decay. And he actually put out two videos of Pistol Whip where he wore a suit. He did a Rift version and I think he did a Quest version. 
So in my case, I want to follow suit. I want to, you know, you, you can call it a little bit of a bandwagon. I want to jump on board with this, and um, and I want to do a pistol whip video today wearing a suit. But my suit is going to be the best one, you know. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. Because uh, after I get done with this video, I'm going to go purchase the game. And um, and then the I think the last video that I got planned for the day now, no promises, but um, without getting into detail, you might not believe this, but I think VR has saved me money. I spent money, I spent a lot of money in hardware, but I think it paid for itself. So I think VR has, has definitely saved me money. And, um, and I, if I do find, if I do get time to make that video, um, I will explain in detail how VR has uh, saved me money. Uh, with that being said, I am going to go ahead and uh, shut it down so keep your eyes open for live from Wakanda on tape delay uh, I could follow immediately after this video or it might come a couple hours later uh, my throat's a little bit raspy right now so I need to grab a drink you know shut my mouth for a minute and then come back and uh, make you know do live from Wakanda so uh, thanks for thanks for watching everybody um, once again shout out to all my YouTube friends and um, that's gonna do it for me I will holler at y'all later Deuces.